Hey everyone, it's Daniel Burnett from Imperfect Designs here, and you're watching Space Now Tutorials Episode 2. In the first episode of our tutorial series, I showed you all how to make an abstract rainbow background in Photoshop. So for this episode, I figured I'd move over to After Effects. So I'm going to show you how to make a music equalizer outline text effect, which is a lot easier to show than to explain. So uh, take a look at what the final product's going to be now. Okay, so as you saw in that example, the effect is basically a music equalizer that goes up and down to the music inside this outline of whatever text you want. And that equalizer is in fact moving to the music automatically, it's not faked, and it's really easy to do. So I'm going to show you how to do it, but first I'm going to give credit to the music you heard in that example. It's Daft Punk's Aerodynamic, go check it out, great song. Okay, so now let's get started. First we want our new composition, as always, so composition, new composition, and I'll call this uh, equalizer text effect, and uh, I'm going to use a 1280 by 720. You can really make it any size you want and change the settings here, but if you want to follow along with all the effect settings later and do it exactly as I'm doing it, you're going to want to use the same settings here, so 1280 by 720, 30 frames per second. Uh, the duration should be long enough to hold your audio. I'm doing 15 seconds because I'm just going to show you guys clips, but uh, if you have a three minute song, you're going to want to set that to three minutes. And click OK. Now, the first thing you want to do is import your audio, which I already have here, and then you're going to want to drag that into your comp. So you just have your audio, nothing else. Alright, so now we want a background, and this is all just basic stuff. We'll get to the interesting stuff after we've built up from the back forward. So we want our background. So I'm just going to use for my background a solid. So just do layer, new, solid, and uh, hit OK. And I'll rename this background. And uh, I do want a little bit of uh, variance in there, so I'm going to add a ramp here. So go into the effects, generate ramp, and uh, I don't know, I'm just going to use a nice radial ramp, bring the center point down here, uh, I'm going to make it go from a light gray, well maybe a little darker, dark gray to black, and this is all up to preference. And then I'm just going to increase the radius a bit, feather it out. Okay. So this is just the background. It can be whatever you like. I just wanted some more variants instead of a black background. It makes the text effect all that much better. So now we create our text. Uh, I'll just, I'm just going to say music is life because it fits. Now what you want to do for the text here is you want to make sure that your foreground color or your fill color is set to none which is that white with the red line through it so that it's transparent and then you want to set your stroke color which is the outline to white or anything that stands out against your background so I'm going to use white oops I have to select the text first obviously white okay and uh, oops Sorry about that, I was just trying to move it, so let me switch to the right tool for that. Move it around about centered, doesn't matter. Um, okay, so here we have the text. Now that's fine, but what we actually need to do to make this effect work is duplicate this three times. So hold Control, or on a Mac I think it's Command, and press D and do it twice so you get three layers. Now the bottom layer is just going to be for a drop shadow, so I'm going to rename that drop shadow. The second layer is going to be an alpha mat, so we'll call it alpha mat. And the top layer is going to be the outline, so we'll call it outline. Now if you don't understand what all that means, you will by the end of this tutorial. So 
we have our outline, our drop shadow, we should actually turn into a drop shadow. So right click, and I'm just going to use a basic layer style. So layer styles, drop shadow, and I'll just leave all that at the default. Now this is zoomed out a little bit, so it's hard to see. But in the uh, full size version, you can definitely see the shadow and it, ni it nicely pulls it off of the background. Uh, the outline is fine the way it is. The alpha mat, you're going to have to go into your text tool and give it a fill color because it needs to be filled. So select this and <coughs> uh, give it, I'm sorry. Yeah, give it a white fill color. Doesn't matter what color as long as it's filled. Okay? So, now that everything is set up, now we can actually add the equalizer effect. So you want to create a new solid. New solid. Color doesn't matter, just make sure that it's set to the comp size. And hit OK. And drag this solid layer between the drop shadow and the alpha mat. And this is going to be our equalizer, so let's call it equalizer. Now what we want to do is make this uh, instead of being all black we want it to just be the bars towards the music. So we right click in effects and choose generate uh, generate and do audio spectrum. You can do audio waveform but that's a different effect it's gonna look pretty different so for this tutorial we're gonna use spectrum. And uh, it's kind of hard to see here, but you can see the dots that formed. That is our spectrum. Uh, obviously, it doesn't look nice and filled in or moving to anything yet, because we're going to change the settings for that now. So first thing we want to do is select our audio layer and choose your audio track. In this case, it's aerodynamic. And as you can see, it's already starting to move to the music, but it's not quite there yet. So, we want to make our start point and end point um, directly underneath our text. So, let's do this, and we'll set this to an X of 0, and we'll make this end point the same height, so the same Y, 447.3 it looks like. And we set this to 1280, which is the width of the comp. Um, this is why I said before uh, that you can change your width and height, but you're going to have to change these as well, just to the starting and ending of your comp. Okay, so that just puts it down at the bottom. Now, what we're going to do is to make this show up only inside of the um, of the text, first thing is to change side options from side A and B to just side A, so that you don't get anything on the bottom. The second thing to do is come in here under your equalizer layer and change the track mat. Now if you don't see the track mat option, press F4 and it it toggles between the different switches here and the track mat in mode. And you're going to change the track mat to alpha mat of alpha mat. That's the layer we created before and called alpha mat. Now as, what, that, what that does is it makes it only show up inside the text. Now, as of now, it doesn't look like much. We still have some more settings to change, and we're almost done, believe it or not. Uh, first thing is to change the number of frequency bands. Now, the more bands you have, uh, the more crowded it's going to be, but it's also going to render more slowly, and it might be a little erratic. So I'm just going to change this to... Um, what did I have? I think it was... 160, which, if you'll notice, is I think about a fourth of 1280. Maybe an eighth. Uh, yeah, I'm not doing math right now. But it's a uh, factor of 1280, which doesn't have to be the way that you do it, but it just makes sure that everything plays nicely. And uh, I think I'm actually going to move my start and end points down a little bit because it seems to be a slightly above the S. So let's just make this a nice even 450. And same here for the start position. Nope. Okay. I'm going to move these down even more to 460. Now just play around with this. Just get it to the very bottom of your text. 
Okay, so now that that's done, um, you're going to want to change your audio duration. And the reason for this is if it's too small, your equalizer is going to be pretty erratic and jumping around all over the place. So this helps smooth it out. So I'll set it to about, oh, I don't know, 350. Um, depending on your music, you're going to want to change that to something different. Remember, higher is smoother, smaller is more erratic. Um, and now you can't really see it because it's all too small. So you want to make sure that the maximum height uh, you bring up. And you want to bring it up until uh, groups like, as you scrub through, you can see different groups. Now when you see a group of a bunch of them, that's what you want to focus on. And you just want to bring the maximum height up until one of those groups is all the way up at the top. So it's going to have to be a really high number. It's going to look gigantic, but trust me, you want to focus on the visuals. So that's good. It's good enough. Uh, maybe just bring it up a little more. Okay. So now what you want to do is um, set the thickness up. In this case, I'm going to use about 8. So yeah, it was 1 8. You just want to bring the thickness up until the bars just touch each other to make it fill up nicely. Um, in this case, I'm using 8 because, remember, uh, 160 bands is 1 eighth of the 1280 width. So it's all just math. Uh, you can do it by eye if you want. doesn't matter as long as it looks filled up. Um, then you're going to want to do uh, blend overlapping colors. You can turn that on or off. All it really does is help fill out a little bit more, but it's a minor adjustment. And one last thing that you need to do is set the audio offset to negative whatever your duration is. So in this case, it's 350 duration, so I'm going to set the audio offset to negative 350. Oops. There. And the reason you do that is because the audio duration uh, is how long it will sample before updating the display. So if it's sampling 350 milliseconds, it's going to be 350 milliseconds behind your audio. And so to make it synchronize better to your audio track, you can just set the offset to negative 350, and it just pushes everything behind, and it pushes everything ahead. Overall, it just makes it synchronize better. Uh, I apologize if I'm rambling a bit in this tutorial. It is about 2.30 in the morning right now, and I'm trying to get this done before I go to sleep. So yeah, uh, bear with me here. You can set duration averaging on if you want. That may be what you're looking for. It really just uh, makes it more wave-like. Um, and actually, in this case, I think I'm going... Uh, nah, I think I'd rather have it individual bars. Okay. Uh, yeah. So, that's all good. But if you looked in the example, you may have noticed that it goes from green to red. Unfortunately, there is no way to do that within the audio spectrum effect because the in, all it has is inside color and outside color, which is more like fill and stroke. So, the way to fix that is to just add a ramp separately. So you right click, generate, ramp, and set the start and end to the top and bottom of your text.